Grab your friendly plastic. I'm going to show you an easy way to create beads with friendly plastic and air dry clay. One of the things that I love about creating your own jewelry is the ability to create any color that you need to match any color of your wardrobe or to match a certain selection of beads. So I'm going to make some focal beads based on this color palette right here. These are um, some beads that I have that are in lots of deep greens. I have some uh, light tans, there's browns, there's golds, there's oranges, and these are colors that I really love. They're earth tones and they remind me of the safari that I've just come back from. So you'll want to grab your strips of friendly plastic. I have some samples here um, that kind of replicate that color palette and we're going to use the friendly plastic to create these nugget beads. I've recently discovered an easy way to create these beads with friendly plastic using cloud clay. This is an air dry clay as the core. And uh, the reason I use cloud clay is because the clay is very smooth in itself and it dries fairly you know, quickly. It dries within 24 hours, but the great thing about it is, is it's firm enough to keep your bead shape, but it's also lightweight and it will allow you to drill your holes nice and easy. So you'll need some cloud clay and I have made uh, several of these balls. These are just uh, cores, bead cores, about the size of a marble. No specific shape, but you'll make several of these ahead of time. This is what we're going to use for the inside of our friendly plastic bead. I have a square of friendly plastic that I've colored with alcohol inks and I'm going to flip it over to the back. I'm using a white piece of friendly plastic that I've colored a little bit of um, alcohol ink on the back, but that won't matter. Now we're going to apply heat and soften the friendly plastic. Now that my plastic is softened on the back, you're going to roll your bead into a log about the width of your plastic here. And this is about a fourth of an inch in diameter. And lay that right on the edge, just like that and then carefully wrap the friendly plastic around the log. Whoops, ran right off there. You'll want to make sure that the seam is completely closed like this one here, and then you can pinch these edges closed. Now the nice thing about friendly plastic is as this cools, of course your friendly plastic is going to get harder. So if it cools before your bead is completely shaped, then you can simply apply additional heat. This bead is a little bigger than what I want, so I'm gonna show you how to make pillow beads. This is really cool. You're going to snip the ends, and when you do that, it makes a perfect little pillow that you can come in and just soften those edges up, just like this. Tuck the cloud clay inside. It's okay if a little bit of white shows. You can always add a little bit of alcohol ink or a little black marker. And now I've made all of my little focal beads in friendly plastic. How easy is that? Now we need to add our hole, and what I have here is a head pin. You can also use an eye pin or a piece of straight wire. I would not recommend using a toothpick because the uh, cloud clay will stick to, to the toothpick. But you're just going to eye the center of the bead and press it straight through till it pokes out the other end. Pull it back and again through the center. And just keep working that until you meet the center on both sides. That was a little sticky. If it happens to be a little sticky, you can just pull off that excess little bit of cloud clay there and tuck that in. Now you're going to let your beads dry completely onto a head pin. That way your hole there, your beaded hole there, does not close shut. And when it's completely dry, then it's ready to make into your masterpiece.
For more Friendly Plastic ideas, tips, and inspiration, visit us on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. And be sure to check out all of our YouTube videos on our channel at Friendly Plastic TV.